I'm Cliff Little with CA Technologies. We are pleased to present the training video for our new Catalyzer 2K pump outfit. If you're viewing this video as the new owner of this equipment, thank you for your purchase. If you're viewing this video to possibly purchase this equipment, this will show you how easy the pump is to operate and maintain. In this video, we will show you the pump components, startup, everyday operations, shutdown procedures, and troubleshooting hints. In this next two segments of the video, we're going to show pump components and controls. In this segment, we're going to talk about the quad valve, which is the heart of the system. This is where your catalyst and your base material meet and is delivered to the gun at the precise uh, 10 to 1 ratio. The controls on the quad valve consist of your catalyst bypass valve. When in the up position, it's for priming. When in the down position, it pressurizes and mixing. This is your base bypass lever. In the up position, it's for priming. In the down position, it's for pressurizing and mixing. This is your mix guard control knob. In the off position, it's for bypass, for flushing and priming. In the on position, it ensures that we're getting a good 10 to 1 mix delivered to the gun. It also tells you when we're off ratio, it'll pop up. And then you'll go back through the priming procedures we'll cover later in the video. This is the base material port closure knob. This is a secondary safety. When this is closed, it will not allow any material to bypass the check valves. This is the catalyst port closure knob. When it's closed, it won't allow any base material to pass through. So they're just secondary safeties to make sure that we stay on ratio and the check valves will not allow any material to pass through. This is the pressure relief valve. This is used when you're relieving the pressure on the system. This ball valve is the outlet for mixed material to the spray gun. On the back side, we have a ball valve which is the drain for the catalyst system. And this is open when we need to drain the catalyst system or clean the system. In this section of the video, we're going to cover the pump air controls and the catalyzer pump fluid section components. As far as pump air controls, we have two main controls mounted on the bracket. On the right hand side, we have the fluid pressure control. For every one pound you show here, it gives you 10 pounds of fluid pressure at the gun. On the left hand side, we have the air atomization regulator. This regulator controls the atomizing air to the spray gun. The pump fluid section components consist of the catalyst fluid section, the base fluid section mounted under the bracket, the catalyst tank on the back of the pump, the base siphon tube, and the catalyzer pump air motor. All references to the pump controls are from facing the front of the pump or facing the quad valve. In this section, we want to cover just a few of the safety reminders when using air assist airless equipment. One is injection hazard. Fluid under medium and high pressures can penetrate the skin. Never point the gun at any part of the body and always use the trigger lock on the gun. Two, static discharge. Fluid under pressure passing through the tip creates friction. Friction can cause static charge to build up. Always ground the pump with the ground wire that's included on the pump and ground the material container. Never flush the pump with solvent with the tip in place on the gun. Three, Check your material safety data sheet information for respirators and other safety equipment you may need to use with the material you are spraying. 